How's it going friends? Welcome to another YouTube video for Fallout 76. We're going to be showing you guys how to farm some canned coffee. Now there are a variety of different ways, but these are my two favorite methods. I'll be showing you four routes and my all-time favorite farming for the canned coffee. So with that, let's get right into it. Now for the first place we're going to be heading to is here at the Tyler County Fairgrounds. Now for farming canned coffee, it's very, very easy. Uh, all you need is the can do per card under luck. And you want to go and hunt down any kind of dumpster that you can pull things out of, as well as any lunch boxes or trash cans that you can interact with. These will have a chance of proccing the can do per card, which will also give you a chance of spawning a canned coffee. Now I've gone through a lot of different locations and these are the probably the best ones in my opinion if you guys know any other locations let me know in the comments but i found it quite a bit uh through these locations now canned coffee is not guaranteed to spawn when when the uh can or can do per card procs so keep that in mind now another tip that i can give whilst while farming canned coffee is do not pick up anything that you do not need because if you do it will you'll have to force respawn your loot which i'll leave a link below to the video uh, in the description or you can click the card up above but yeah try to refrain from picking up anything that you don't need now for tyler county fairgrounds it's a pretty chaotic and crazy place to, in regards to the placement of all the trash cans and such but just go around, look for them, and just kind of take a peek and see if your can do will proc or can, yeah, can do will proc. Now the next location is going to be here at Wavy Willard's Water Park, another phenomenal place for trash cans and such, and actually probably one of the best. But again, can do is all RNG, so good luck, Godspeed. And for this location, it's a pretty big spot, so you want to look everywhere behind the walls and every nook and cranny that you possibly can because you're going to find a bunch of these trash cans lying around and what's also very nice is that in the pool you'll be able to find a lot of lunch boxes as well that you can check out Now the next location we're going to be going to is here at the Valley Galleria, another pretty large location in regards to the spacing of the trash cans, but it's a pretty solid spot to go to. Now I like to start off on the outside while well, you spawn in the outside and go around the first or the building on the left hand side and go around the perimeter and as well as checking out the inside. The main source of your trash cans are going to be inside of the actual location and following the perimeter of the second floor and bottom floor as well as occasionally looking in the middle you'll be able to find a ton of trash cans scattered all around. Now what I forgot to mention in the beginning is that you can also interact with refrigerators and the Valley Galleria has a appliance shop in the bottom floor on the right hand side from the spawn. You can interact with a lot of the refrigerators in there and it's a pretty great source as well. So check dumpsters, lunch boxes, refrigerators that you can basically store or pull things out of as well as trash cans. Now the next location is going to be here at the White Springs. Like all the other ones, it's pretty large and it does have a pretty decent amount of trash cans that you can go into. You want to look for the little black and gold trash cans that are scattered around the perimeter of the main building. Um, I do believe there are trash cans inside. I personally haven't checked, but I'll have to do that uh, sometime. But I usually just go on the outside because... The next few methods are, or the next method, is the main one that I like to do. But like all the others, look around the perimeter, search for the trash cans. You can also go around to all the other buildings if you would like to expand here at the White Springs. But 
that's entirely up to you if you would like to do that. The next idea is the main way that I go about farming my canned coffee and that's using the coffee maker that you can pick up in the atomic shop. They have brought it back many many times so if it's not in the atomic shop by the time you uh, see this video keep an eye out and pick it up as soon as you can. Now with this method all you have to do is just capture as many workshops as you would like. It doesn't matter how many if you want to capture them all it's that's actually the best way um, because every I believe 35 minutes um, you'll be able to get the full cap uh, amount on it which is four so if you capture all the um, all the workshop spots you'll be getting a lot every every hour really but I like to build a small little box especially if it's in a private or public server because protect your goods you know now there are other locations around the map that actually have canned coffee laying about kind of like here at boss town as soon as you spawn in if you go to the left you'll be able to find a little building right kind of off on its own next to a fissure site now this building is phenomenal for many reasons and some of those reasons are of course here for the canned coffee you can find up to three in the rooms a lot of pre-war food some unrusted tin cans, a free company tea, and actually a bunch of sugar bombs. This spot can spawn at least four. That about covers it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Honestly, doing it the workshop way if you do have access to the uh, canned coffee machine is probably by far the best way because then you can go about doing other things or you can combine both methods and get the most out of it. With that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, uh, you know, all the YouTube stuff, like, subscribe, comment, whatever it is. But uh, yeah, again, check out the description if anything. But as always, I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, good luck, happy hunting, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.